two or three months after the, my father's passed away, um, Oliver is grieving for his father and um, looking back on his life and trying to make sense of what his childhood meant with a gay father and a mother who knew that her, his father was gay, but they kept it secret for, from him for his whole life and um, trying to make sense of what that means. And at the same time, he meets and falls in love with um, a French actress played by Melanie Long called Anna, the character's called Anna, and he f starts falling in love with her. So again, there's two sort of opposite things happening there. He's grieving and falling in love at the same time. It's based on a true story of the film, uh, and, it's, and it's based on things that are very deep and powerful. It's based on loss and love, and um, uh, those are the themes really in it, and, and, uh, and uh, those are things that we can all relate to. They're very, very powerful. You know, falling in love with somebody is is a very powerful physical and emotional experience that we really like uh, as human beings. And, and as this film explores that with the love story, um, I think it could be quite moving and powerful. Uh, and also the fact that we're dealing with a relationship with our parents and um, the complexities of that and trying to figure that out. I mean, in this case, in a rather extreme way, because Oliver realized, uh, discovers that one, you know, his father is, is gay. And so he's got a lot to kind of work through. But I think we can all relate to the story of, of figuring out our relationship with our parents and then dealing with their, you know, the loss of them when they come to die, you know. But she's, she's extraordinary, Melanie. She's a real life force, you know, and she comes in and uh, I never met her before, but right all the way through rehearsals. and we start, I think the first thing we did was go to um, a roller coaster park and uh, and go on roller coasters, and I, I'm not really, I don't really like roller coasters, I'm a bit frightened of them to be honest, um, it's something I used to probably like when I was younger, but uh, Mike had this idea that like falling in love with someone is like being on a roller coaster where you're start somewhat, out of, you're totally out of control on it, and it's a bit scary and exhilarating, and it can make you feel a bit sick, so um, he thought that that was quite similar to falling in love. They asked about Cosmo, and I said, well, I was talking about working with Cosmo, and I said, and, uh, you know, in a week's time, I'll have to say goodbye to him. And I started to cry in front of the camera. It was rather embarrassing, but I was really upset. And um, I got very close to having to him and having him around. And I grew up with dogs. And I never had a dog since I, I left home when I was 16. So um, my wife came to visit, and she's allergic to dogs, my wife. But she saw me with Cosmo, and she realized that, that there was something missing for me, you know. So she, she said, look, we should... You should, if you if you can find one that I'm not allergic to, and then so on the very last day of the shoot, the very last day of the shoot, I was uh, before I left the house, I was looking on the internet, and I found this little dog, a little poodle mix dog that was in a rescue centre near me where I live, and um, I went and, and he's now my dog. He's called Sid, and he's the same, almost the same size as Cosmo. And he's white. He's the same colour, and he's totally a little Cosmo replacement, you know. So so. Due to Mike and this film, I ended up finding Sid as well, which is nice. He sent us off to a shop to buy... He sent us off to Barney's in, in L.A. to buy, I just buy Christopher a scarf. And so he sent me and, and um, Christopher off on our own. The, on the first day, we met each other, and we wandered around, and I, I helped Christopher find a scarf, although he was mainly just interested in finding a pair of skinny black jeans, which is what he got set his mind on. And um, that helped us to kind of... Uh, to ha have a flavour of that relationship between a, an older man and, and uh, a younger man who's looking after him, I suppose. A father and a son, to an extent. Arthur, you're coming to live with me now, OK? That's the bathroom. This is the living room. This is the dining room where people come and eat sometimes. Look, it's lonely out here, so you better learn how to talk with me. This is 2003. This is what the sun looks like, and the stars. This is the president. And this is the sun in 1955, and the stars, and the president. My parents got married in 1955. They had a child, and they stayed married for 44 years until my mother died. Six months later, my father told me he was gay. I'm gay. I remember him wearing a purple sweater when he told me this, but actually he wore a robe. I'm gay. He was gay the whole time they were married. Oliver, I just met a girl. 
You point. I'll drive. This one. <laughs> Oliver? Yeah. They had some wonderfully loud music in the club tonight. <laughs> what kind of music's that? Probably house music. Yeah. House music. <laughs> okay. House. House music. The bronchoscopy revealed a mass. Oh, it's not rush out and tell everyone. Sometimes I wonder Before Anna, I had four serious relationships. I let all of them fall apart. Night. Just be happy about it, huh? The, For the first time I saw I'm really in love. And I am once again with you. People like us, half of them think things will never work out. The other half believe in magic. And each kiss and inspiration Sex, life, healing, nature, magic. The memory of love's refrain. This is what I'm supposed to feel like. Yeah, me too.